What is going on YouTubers, you're here from Maji and Jay. Today what I got here for you is, well, a phone that resembles a lot to the iPhone. And I will say this is like a mini clone of the iPhone XX or the XX Max. It is very similar in terms of design, at least on the back side. But it has only a 3 inch display and it costs around $112. I got it with Amazon uh, Prime service, of course. And it got here very, very quickly. So. This is a great way to kill time during this pandemic time. I know that things are getting hard out there, guys. A lot of you are uh, in quarantine and whatnot. So I just decided to bring this over uh, to give you guys a little bit of entertainment and hopefully get your mind a little bit out of that uh, coronavirus. So uh, as you can see, it's made by a company called So Yes. I believe that's how it's spelled. And it says 10S. Uh, this one in particular has the MTK6737. And surprising enough, it comes with three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. It is running on Android Marshmallow, so it is a little bit outdated, uh, in my opinion. And um, it does support uh, no more than 3G connectivity. I believe it's 3G or 4G um, based on the bands. But for some reason, my SIM card is not working right now. So I don't know if this is a defective unit or what the case is. But uh, let's go ahead and check it out. So it comes in a tiny box like this, and all we find is a little barcode here um, from Amazon for inventory purposes. So getting the box open, we're gonna be greeted here with the uh, manuals and the accessories. And I think I just opened it backwards. So inside here, check this out. We're gonna have a tiny case and once I compare this to my iPhone 11 Pro Max, you guys will understand how tiny this phone is. So inside here, we even have a uh, glass screen protector, or some of you may know this as a tempered glass screen protector. Here we have the case, a SIM ejector tool right there. Um, let's see, we have a USB type C wire, which is kind of cool considering uh, that you know this is just a cheap device they were able to implement USB type C on there which is really really cool and uh, you have some manuals yes this is what it looks like typical generic manuals nothing special and I believe it comes in Chinese and English and maybe French as well okay so nothing dramatic here let's go ahead and set this little thing aside for now and inside here check this out guys we have the tiny iphone 10s 3 inch display kind of cool if you ask me so it came with the us charger so it was intended to be used in the us market as you guys can tell so that's cool as well um, this charger specs it says right there 5 volts at one uh, amp so it is just a regular charger nothing fancy and uh, inside of the box here, we have nothing, just a sticker with the IMEI information. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and set this box aside and take a look at this tiny iPhone 10s Max clone. You can see in the back side here, it does resemble the iPhone as well as the design here of the uh, metal frame. And it actually has a weight to it. Let's see how many grams this thing is. So let's go ahead and turn this on. It is in grams and this phone is 103 grams. So for the size, I gotta say that that is kind of cool. So you can see the brand again, it says so yes. And even the film protecting it is very similar to Apple style. So on the back here we have a five megapixel shooter with the LED flash. Again, here we have the metallic frame. Um, on the right side we have the power key. And this looks like the microphone. On the left hand side of the phone, we have the volume rockers up and down with the SIM tray. And it is a single SIM device. And it does support um, nano size. So that's what I have on here, but for some reason it's not working. And towards the bottom here we have uh, the loudspeaker and on the front as you guys can see we have that 3 inch display and it has a resolution I believe it's uh, 840 or 848 by 480 so it is not even 720p but being so small 
um, you don't even notice it. So on the front here we have a 5 megapixel sensor camera with the ear speaker, some sensors, and that's all we get. Even though it does appear to have a notch, it doesn't have a notch. It is just a regular rectangular um, display and we're going to see that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and get it powered. Uh, this one has a battery of um, 1520 milliamps and again it's running on Android Marshmallow which uh, you know it is a little bit outdated there we get the welcome logo I'm pretty sure there's a code you can enter to get you know the Apple logo instead so this is insane I mean it is so small let me give you that side-by-side -side comparison right now check that out guys this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max you can see the difference here is quite dramatic I mean just look at that tiny little phone and it kind of reminds me of the iPhone 2G's and the iPhone up to the iPhone 4 um, you know 4S where they had that you know one-handed uh, size and uh, but this is like a little beyond that I mean it feels like I'm grabbing a toy but the weight of it reminds you that it is a smartphone and impressive enough this phone is able to handle 3d games I have Allspool 9 on here um, it is taking way too long to boot up but yes I have Allspool 9 on here and here we have the uh, lock screen so as you can tell the lock screen nothing special here we have the little uh, phone quick toggle right there the camera toggle and it does work so this is the rear camera as I mentioned before it is uh, you know a cheap sensor um, and here sorry about that uh, you guys can see that uh, well the quality doesn't look terrible I mean at least it works but it is definitely not competitive out there with other phones that are coming out around this price so here you have the uh, front-facing camera and again I look like Papa Smurf right here I'm completely blue and that's not my color trust me so anyways there we have it for the cameras uh, at least the quick toggle side and this is the main screen check this out guys it is absolutely insane I mean it feels like you know just playing with it because as you can tell I already logged into the Play Store and downloaded you know just a few things on here like Facebook which works fine I got YouTube I got Osbo 9 and Able Pool which is one of my favorite you know simple games but um, yeah I mean just using it it feels like a more serious phone in terms of like you know the software is really nice and smooth um, we got here settings and settings is just gonna be you know basic stuff and if we go here into let's see about phone you guys uh, will see that it comes with Android 6.0 when I click on it it says marshmallow so there you go um, wireless updates we don't have anything yet as of right now or actually check that out wow this is crazy check this out guys they have included an update already I checked this I believe yesterday and I didn't see anything and now I check it again and there's an update available for this device ain't that cool so here we have phone number signal status and again uh, I had my AT&T SIM card on it and it wasn't working uh, model is the Soyuz XS and uh, let's see let's go back here let's see if we can find the memory information of it so if we go here into memory you can see right there that uh, we do have three gigabytes okay uh, let's go back once here let's see what else I think uh, see available storage there we go so we have um, 21 gigabytes available so it is a true 32 gigabyte of memory device and again guys I mean the display feels very nice and smooth you have this little arrow so you can hide the navigation keys and then if you swipe up they reappear uh, of course we have YouTube and again it is just I want to say cute but I don't know if that's you know the right way to describe it uh, you know professionally but yeah I gotta say it's kind of cute it's like it's like a little baby of the iPhone I mean it is just absolutely insane you guys can see that I have logged in here to my account so if we go into library then we go into my videos 
you will see that there it is okay and it works fine I mean honestly if you have you know good signal reception and you're getting 4G or Wi-Fi connectivity which by the way is working well then that's all you need again it works like a like a regular smartphone the only complaint I have about this device is the battery life it charges really fast it charges with, within like maybe I would say 40 minutes you're at 100 percent but it's because it is a super small battery and uh, you know yeah it charges fast but it also depletes very fast so if we go here into this video we're gonna test the loudspeaker which again it is not disappointing considering the size so here's the quality of the loudspeaker Well, as you guys can hear, uh, you know, the quality of the speaker, it is not stereo, it is not the most sophisticated out there, but uh, I would say that it works and it is somewhat loud. Again, loud doesn't mean quality, but uh, it is just so cool to see that they were able to do all this in such a small package. And uh, another thing we have here, of course, is social media. I went ahead and logged into the Play Store and as you guys can tell, everything is working great. I haven't had any issues downloading games. As a matter of fact, here we have Osbolt 9 and I just did it just to see if this thing was able to handle it. And, and here it is guys, after a couple tries, I was able to get it working. However, for some reason I already did the uh, training part of it. And it is just prompting me to do it again or maybe some extra ones. I think that's what it is, the extra ones. but. I mean the graphics are definitely not the best but again for such a little phone this gives you an idea that Elise is able to somewhat handle what we consider a heavy game and I can still be at number one position here this is crazy guys there you go. I made it number one on a Soyuz 10S clone device from China. So isn't that cool guys? I mean, I gotta say that, again, I wouldn't recommend this as a main phone, but for the price and for what it is, it's kind of cool. My daughter loves it. As a matter of fact, she plans to keep it around just to play with it. Um, well, the cons so far is that, well, the camera is not competitive at all I would say uh, second that well the um, battery depletes very 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 quickly that will be another cons of it and that third well it is just not a phone designed for the everyday use this is just met as a toy and again if you guys want my recommendation I would give this to you know five-year-old a six-year-old just to play around and if it breaks it breaks according you know to the price you're not losing a lot uh, it is really cool and uh, as you guys saw they are uh, you know backing up the product with software updates and and whatnot and I'm pretty sure that uh, software update is uh, for the battery maybe there's a bug in the system but yeah it is really really cool very inexpensive and I want you guys to let me know down below what you think about this little device and I'm coming with a lot more products very soon including that uh, Celpic S1 uh, printer that you guys see in the background here that's going to be probably my next video and I have some more clones um, so stay tuned to the channel don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so please like comment and share and uh, we'll see you guys on my next one